Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael again from Miniature Painting and with a slight movement of the camera we are going to take a good look at painting some Dreadball Matsudan team like you see here. This is a whole team. So I uh, undercoated them first and we're going to start with just one and we're going to use one but we're going to paint the whole team. Move you. Yeah, thanks. Um, we're going to uh, paint the Matsudan team and what we are going to do with the team is um, first undercoat it with death guard green like i did right here yes and we are going to i think this is quelia green shade my apologies when i say i think because i have an awful lot in the pot and i really don't know which pot it is but i assume it was quelia green shade since i bought that one uh once and i lost the label so uh, you shade the whole miniature, or at least the skin with Quilia green shade. As you can see right here. In this video I tend to go slightly off camera, but no, okay. When you have done, you make a mix of bone white and death guard green, and dry brush the whole skin with it. Then we go for the tongues with Blackman's Glow. It's just a really tiny thing, but it really breaks the whole model in, in, in color wise, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Paint all them tongues. There is uh, from the. Uh, what is it? 18 models. There's 9 models with tongues, and there's 9 models without tongues. After that, you will be painting some white in the eyes, as you can not see right there you go. As you can see right there. And then with Karabora Crimson, you give it eyes, the eyes, a wash. And let that dry. After that, you will be painting the tongues with Agra Church Shade. I'm even going a little bit fast for myself. For the 18 models, there is uh, 9 models which have uh, open mouths and 9 models with closed mouths. When you're done with the eyes and the tongues, you are going with Chainmail Silver for the armor. Or at least the armor plating on the top side of the miniature. Or at least that's what I did. I think I uh, would like the, uh, the shining armor. We're going to tone it down in a couple of minutes, but this is about what I like about the uh, the armor. Seems to be pretty new. It's a new team, the Matsudan, so assuming they haven't used it much. So that's why it's still a bit shiny. There you go. Then we are going with our trustworthy no-named Nuln Oil. It is just regular Nuln Oil put in a different bottle, guys. And you wash all over the whole model where the chainmail was. Then we go for Scarlet Red for the pens. As you can see right here... <laughs> oh, there you go. As you can see right there, you go for the pens, the armor plating... And the back plating with the big buckle on the belt. Yeah, that one. Since they still look like armor. They look like a really fat samurai. That's pretty cool now. Because I like fat samurai and especially within a game. Lizard samurai. You can't go wrong with that, guys. Then we go for Beastie Brown Pants. They're still beasts, so make them Beastie Brown Pants. At this moment, for the whole team, we're about 20 hours in. So we're pretty busy with these models. I wanted to have them finished as soon as possible.
I think this is one of the easiest ways you can have a whole team completed in, well, virtually no time. It's all about the undercoating. Now, with Agrax Earthshade, you will be shading the pants and the armor at the same time. Or, once again, that's what I did. Then, with a Brassy Brass, the name, you are going to make the belt. Or, I painted the belt. Bloody red to dry brush the red armor. This color really complements the gory red. And gives it a lot of depth. Then black for the bases. And then one final step before I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like, share and rate. And that is Reikland Flash Shade for the belt again. And then you're finished with a whole team of Matsudan. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. May the dice be forever in your favor.